Your soul shall be mine. Warlock, Warlock, Warlock. Get him. Best card. Terrible cards. I think Rifleman is better than Succubus. Yeah. I'd stick with that. It's pretty painful. Flame Imp is fantastic. Novice is good. Silver Hands, nice fat guy. Shadow Bolt, really good removal. Uh, these are not so good. Sense Demons will get me all the imps I'm going to draft. Eh, the Power Overwhelming is not as bad as I make it out to be. That's reasonable, I just don't want many of them. These cards like Execute and Power Overwhelming. I may have given them a bad rap too early. It's a two for one, but you always have bad stuff to two for one. Mad Bomber is less good in a Warlock deck, but it's okay. Another Flame Imp, woo. Twilight Drake uh, is appropriate. Well, not very appropriate, but still the best. Loot Hoarder beats Flesh Eating. Stone Knight, it's pretty good. Soulfire is win, unlike the other cards. Huh, Venture Co. Or Shadow Bolt. They're both fairly good. Venture Co. Top tier card, Shadow Bolt. Pretty good card. It's real close, it's really close. Sea Giant is great. Knife Juggler is really good. Raging Worgen is better with Blood Imps. I don't have any yet. I don't have any threes, might as well. Silver Hand Knight is a really strong five. I'll take that over Gnomish Inventor, although that is also close. Acolyte, uh, I don't have many threes. I have no way to utilize the Acolyte though. Hmm, Stormwind. Murloc Garbage or Fell Guard, which is also garbage, but it's better garbage. Harvest Golem is great. Again. Again, yes, yes, again, woo! Uh, Inferno, I actually have no Blood Imps, so it is perfectly fine. Better than the Ogre. Dark Scale Healer versus Smith. I will take the healing over the plus two attack, I guess. Or I could take Mechanic. Nah, I'm not a big fan of the Mechanic. There'll be a Warrior over the Garbage. Shadow Bolt. This Voidwalker has no synergy with anything. I think I'll choose the Power Overwhelming over the Voidwalker. It just doesn't do enough. It's less good if you don't have Blood Imps. I mean, everything is less good, but the Voidwalker in particular is better with buffs. Imp Master or Questing. I do have uh, two Imps. Imp Master is just so consistently good. The Questing Adventure might be good but it's difficult to say whether or not it will be. Injured. There's a lot of threes, but there are a lot of cards that won't be played on three. Uh, looking at this deck overall, it's pretty solid. It's got strong neutral minions. Uh, missed out on Blood Imps, but the Warlock cards I have for support are a uh, Inferno and two Shadow Bolts. Two flame imps, two powers, a soul fire. The power is sort of like execute. It's fine. I'm going to say this deck will go nine wins. Your soul shall be mine. I almost passed the turn there. I'm distracted by watching the chat. Don't text and drive, guys. I considered playing the injured blade master, but then I would not have anything to do on three. Using up his hero ability and making him skip his three drop is reasonable. And if he chooses not to, might be even Don't better for me. Mess with Maybe. Murder! 
Mm, this is a little marginal, but I'd say this is worth it. This uh, saves the injured Blade Master. Plus, getting rid of the power overwhelming is fine with me. I also could have gotten rid of the coin, which would have been nice. Swipe, that's fine. For the king! For honor! Alright, end of uh, turn four, I had a net worth of four cards, he had a net worth of four cards. My hero ability is going to be uh, fairly good in the late game because I was able to retain a lot of health. I must safeguard the land. From subs, and I apologize for that. Giving only this taunt is probably better. My seal for Does set me up for the uh, super silence destruction, but generally, if I play the Twilight Drake and the opponent does not silence it right off the bat, it probably does not have it. Time waits for no one. Why is Flame Imp so good if it deals 3 to your hero? Because the 1 mana 3 2. Usually for a 3-2, you have to pay 2. Cards are good and bad just because they cost one or two, one mana more than they should, or one mana less than they should. Alright, so Power Overwhelming allows me to break through this. That's pretty useful. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Four, six, nine, twelve. Fourteen. Shields up. Less. I hope you like my invention. Wow. Looks like Felguard Sea Giant tap, which means I should tap first. I will enjoy watching you die. Battle! Oh. Well played. Well played. I can see. Shall be mine. Two, three, looks good. This is probably one of those hands where going first is better. Well, just because I start off with a two and a three. Eh, it's all right either way. It occurs to me that if you go first as a warlock, you gain an extra mana each turn. So if it goes 8 turns and you've gained 8 extra mana, which is sort of like drawing 4 extra cards, if you funnel the 8 mana into 4 uses of life tap, which is Someday I'll be just like really you. crazy math. The math gets real crazy. Uh, do I still fire here? Yeah, let's make this a uh, 
quick and dirty game. I should play the Harvest Golem first so it does not get soul fired out. I'm very happy to discard the bomber. Some people were suggesting to play the bomber. However, if the bomber hit my knife juggler, the mage can do one damage to it. And that's fairly bad. The water elemental is terrifying. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Knife juggler is done. A lot of damage. I think that's four damage of knives at the opponent's face so far. Uh, it may or may not have been better to do it on his face. I think I can't use the disadvantage yet. Let's see. So I used to think that Soul Fire was a bad card, but I that was back when I was a young one. I think artist asks, uh, if card advantage is the most valuable resource in the game, why are cards like Soul Fire so sought after? It's only in the uh, Warlock deck that it's good, as it turns out, because Warlocks can draw a card for two. So it turns out to be like two mana deal four damage if you also use your hero ability. Which is pretty good. That is why Soul Fire is good. I've got a huge guy. First thing I uh, drew a lot of heat there. It's pretty good. All right, this trades. Do I play the Sea Giant first now? Or do I Harvest Golem Felguard tap? So many possibilities. He didn't have a sheep. That would have been a better answer. And he didn't have a fireball. So Sea Giant should be safe here. Three, six, seven, nine. But one thing I fear is Flame Strike. If it's Flame Strike, I fear Harvest Golem and Felguard will have one survivor. And I'll tap and not play the Flame Imp to not overextend. This changes the play. Based on the possible cards he has, I think Flame Imp is a bad card to play right now because his only hope is to Flame Strike. Hmm. It's close. I mean, Flame Strike doesn't even save him, which probably means I should have played Flame Imp. Well played. Ian. Your soul shall be mine! I regret this immediately. This is a pretty good hand. Very good against that drop. 
He needs an answer. He's likely to have one, but he might not. And even if he doesn't, this is still the best play. <laughs> I guess he took one more damage than he had to. Wall mistakes. That was a mistake. Raging Organ is very good there. Uh, this will be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a 4, 6, which unfortunately the Raging Worgen will be able to get with the Stormforged Axe. Oh, but I just drew the perfect card. That's pretty useful. Locked and loaded. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. He didn't lightning storm that turn. It might mean he doesn't have one. Squire, attend me. Does this mean I should just attack his face? Ready, sir. It seems like his 2 2 would voluntarily trade for my 2 2, anyways. And one damage is really. Fire! Let's just go. I guess the one thing that would have been bad is like, well, there are a few things. The plus one, plus one buffs would have been bad. Mind if I roll need? To play around those or to not play around this is something I always wrestle with. Could play Novice Engineer. Uh, in fact, I think that's more useful here because Novice Engineer actually does stuff. I hope you like my invention. Oh, that is a really nice card. Job's done. Unfortunately, it's going to be a bit too late to play it and wreck his board. The might of storm oh. wind. Okay. Ah! Yeah, power overwhelming. I wrestle with whether or not this card is good. It's a continuous struggle, but in this case it's very good. Two, three, seven. I mean a two for one, but I'm not sad about it. I just don't understand. My entire opinion on power overwhelming. It's evaporating. Don't mess with Tusker. <laughs> hmm, why not power overwhelming plus Dread Inferno? That's actually a really good question. I guess because Dread Inferno. I don't know. Turns out that it might be better to Dread Inferno here, but it's after the fact. Sorry that happened. I think that would have been a very good play last turn too. Power overwhelming sort of reads like it's one mana deal four damage. Sort of. Kind of. And it really sort of is. Kind of. By fire, be purged. Two, five. Ugh. Probably best to get rid of Harvest Golem in this case. And plunder. 
Where's nice Sudoku there? Your soul shall be mine! Your soul shall suffer! A pretty rough turn one start for me. Flame Imp too good, yo. I can coin into a three, but that means I'm trading my three for a one drop, which is fairly annoying. Oh, that's good. Nope, that'll just trade for his two. I think I play Raging Worgen and hope Flame Imp trades it. Well, that forces Flame Imp to trade for it. And then maybe he stalls out. We Hopeful. must cleanse the sun well. Oh, we could do that also. <gasps> Pretty aggressive start by him so far. Follows it up with good stuff. So every single turn, he's just been killing my guy and attacking with his old guy. This must change someday. Wow. Alright, so I'm going to need... ...to kill one of those guys. And play Bluegill Warrior. I hope you like my invention. That was the one I hoped to kill. I guess. <laughs> ah. uh, if you insist. I guess for that reason I should have played Bluegill Warrior first. Uh, if you insist. Wait, no, I hope to kill this one has more attack. Flame Imp might be never playable for me. And the damage is too much. No, I probably still have to play it. No, I probably won't. I'm at 8. 5 health is okay to be against the Warlock. <laughs> it's not great. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, finally! The board control, it's mine at last. I can Shadow Bolt, but probably better to... Uh, Dread Inferno and hope this gets hit by a dagger, I think. And I have the Flame Imp to throw another dagger at it. This is my town now. Come on. Nice. We're turning this boat around. This has been quite a beating, but maybe I will turn it all around with this turn. Oh, scienced. I'm at such a low amount of life that I do have to trade the Inferno. The Sea Giant will cost 4 if I play Silverhand Knight, which is not enough. I wonder. I can do Harvest Gloom Sea Giant. Alright. We'll do that. Truth is my shield. Fortunately for me, Flame Imp is really good against that Sunwalker. <sighs> I cannot tap anymore. Puts me in Soul Fire range. Very common card. 3 8. 
Squire, attend me. Job done. Yeah. Ready, sir. Thank you. It's time for Leroy. Maybe. If I, uh, I might win. If he has no answers to anything I have on the board. It's possible. Well played. Wow. You win. Sweet. Thank you. The light shall bring victory. Your soul shall be mine. That was a really tough game, last game. Um, he did have a very good curve. And I didn't think that I would be able to come back from that. But miracles happened. I greet you. Put this apple on your head. It's sort of a first world problem. It's like, ah, oh, crap, I drew a good card. But why couldn't I have had that in turn one? Ugh. Fine. Imp Master deals one damage well. Uh, except he can heal. That's okay. If he heals, that spends his turn my Shadow Bolt. You had to think really hard about that one. Um, fine play. Without knowing his hand. That seems reasonable. They probably would have gone for heal the knife juggler, send it after the 1 1. Yeah, I actually disagree with the Shadow Work Pain now that I think about it. I hope you like my invention. Your turn to bleed! Your magic shall not save. Wow, value dread inferno. Hmm. Is it really that value? That's pretty value. I wonder if I can position this so that I don't lose everything. Hmm. I cannot. I mean, this board is a lot better than mine, so I should be happy. Alternative play: Defender of Argus. Five four three four, five four hits two two. Hmm. Knife juggler, defender Vargas. Hmm. Yeah, okay. The interesting thing is it doesn't even matter what way I do it in. first since I intend to. Put this apple on your head. My seal for Argus. Hey, give me that. I like my position against the priest here. Uh, I've got a good amount of health. I can uh, tap every turn. While his board is clear, I will be able to have a much better hero ability. Stormwind Knight, and send the 3-1 into the 3-5. Uh, looks like tapping will once again be part of the play. This is an interesting idea, but probably not worth playing. For the king! 
for honor. Yes. Alright, turn nine. He's got five cards in hand. I have five cards in hand, and I've got four cards in play. Looks really good. Don't mess with Tusk. Unfortunately for me, next turn is when uh, mind control is possible. <sighs> play Sea Giant. So or do I live in fear of mind control? If I play Sea Giant, I'll have to burn double Shadow Bolt if he has mind control. Probably better not to risk it in this situation where I'm really far ahead. Though it would be incredibly cheap to play the Sea Giant right now. Yeah, I'll play it. I think I need it to hammer it home. Uh, one, three, six. a bizarre turn. For honor. The you asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. This power overwhelming stuff is pretty awkward early. I'm reminded why I don't like the card. Still not a top tier card. So it starts on both sides. Surprise on his side since he does have the coin. So the most scary thing he can play is Water Elemental. So I should play Injured Blade Master. So many possibilities. It also happens to be that Yeti would be much the same way. Here comes the coin. Mind if I roll Loot order, alright. You're gonna get storm winded. For the king! For honor! This card always surprises me by how good it is, despite how bad it looks. Best is to think of it as a 4 mana 2-2 two, two battle cry deal 2 damage. It doesn't seem that good, when I think of it that way. Alright, so this guy will die anyway, so power overwhelming is a very cost efficient way of killing it. Yay, power overwhelming. Holy sweet. Hunt's got seven cards, I have a net worth of six. He's used the coin. Hmm. Okay. Considering soul firing it. Nah. I would want to consider not attacking it, in fact. I wonder 
if he's thinking about flame striking. The board isn't that great. And I'll have to aim to not play that many more cards. Try to keep it at two to three minions. The dream is he doesn't flame fire blast my flame imp. Truth is my shield. Wow. That's pretty good for me. Two damage to get rid of divine shield is okay. Hmm. Oh. Very useful. I'm probably going to be uh, life tapping into Pyroblast range here. Just because if I don't, I will most likely lose against this mage. What to do? What to do? So I just have to uh, count on him not having it. Truth is my shield. Alright, if the bomber is not utilized, I have to uh, send a Shadow Bolt anyways with any of the guys. It would be this guy. If I manage to hit once with the bomber, it'll be good. Although I should uh, tap first. Um, not relevant. Might be relevant later. Good. Uh, hmm. Out of time. Interesting. Fire. Better to save then. Since I managed to use it, I got one of the other things. Mind if I roll me? Continuing to have three really chumpsicle guys on the board each time. I hear you got a problem. Thanks. Hey, give me that! Oh, yeah, you got it! For not a time. This pushes me out of fireball range. I'm not gonna tap to put myself back in, I guess. I'm going to pretend that I am at two health right now. That is essentially what I am at. No, oh, I am definitely at one house right now. Well, game over. But play on. Three, seven, eleven. I wonder. I don't have any healing in the deck. Nope. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Well played. Win. I'll be mine. I don't like the loot horror against the druid, but I'll keep it. No, that's that's better. I mean, it's reasonable. At worst, it's an even trade. Actually, at worst, I do one point of damage to him. And we trade turns. It's okay. Except, druids tend to like it more when it gets to their late game. I smell blood. I'll be surprised. <laughs> He's considering playing cards that were not shapeshift. I would have been surprised if he had. Alright, 
That's Torment Knight. A good answer. Stormwind Knight, why do you... For the king! For honor! Why are you so awesome? Oh, that imp is in the wrong spot. If he has Yeti, I have the perfect answer. Is perfecto. So that turn where he uh, could have done one damage to my 2-1 with the hero ability he was considering wrathing instead. He did the right call by hero ability instead. It allows for the flexibility for him to deal three damage with that wrath. I do that all the time. Time waits for no one. Stormwind Knight to save second Stormwind Knight? Or alternatively Rifleman tap. That seems better. Sets up uh, next turn to tap Drake. I've got a huge guy. Oh my gosh, I missed two damage. I was too busy patting myself on the back for such an excellent play. I don't see anything too bad that could happen by not attacking right now. If he had a silence, he would have played it. Get for the face. Oh, I guess the thing that would be bad is he can double trade for the Inferno, but the Inferno is about as good as the Drake. It's roughly as good. It's comparable. Hmm, I wonder. To deal four extra damage to him in the trade. Uh, mm. Meh. Uh, that's an interesting solution. If I kill him. Oh, that draw, I think it does. No, that's fun. Hmm. There are multiple ways to do it. That's the most fun way. For Doomhammer, your soul shall be mine. It is possible that I have the decibel level slightly miscalculated. Greetings, friend. Hmm. I greet you. This is a tough decision not to coin out a two here. I choose not to coin out a loot hoarder because he might play a 2-3. It seems better for me to match his play here. And in the case of that play, the Imp Master is very good. Uh, though the loot hoarder into the Twilight Drake is also very good. And if I coin into Imp Master, then I don't have a 3. This is reasonable. It leaves him with a 2-1. And then I just hope I don't get a uh, earth shock. All is good. Oh man, Mad Bomb would have been an excellent play. Would have been fantastic. Next turn I will maybe go juggler bomber. You know take handle. Bomber. This will be fun. Good luck. Put this apple on your head. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Blah. 
that did kill the most important target. Yeah, opponent's got five net worth of cards against my seven on my turn. I'm ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> How you doing? One goblin rises above all. You call that a Four, seven. For the king! Group master, no good. Dark Iron Dwarf takes it out too easily. Oh, hello, Gruel. You might have to be dealt with this turn, otherwise I might lose. Alternatively, I can play Sea Giant, but then I will probably lose. Fortunately, I can take it out by joint attacking with everything. Pretty important to kill the cult master. I have the kill on the board. I could also do so it with Dread Inferno, which would allow me to also take out the healing totem, which is useful. But then Sea Giant would be unplayable. I need to play the Sea Giant this turn. Probably play the Dark Scale Healer and the Sea Giant. Pretty simple. And I'll play the Flame Imp too while I'm at it. For not a Raging War again, Dread Inferno is a poor play. He axes it. He probably wanted to kill my Flame Imp before he hexed. And unfortunately, it being at one health isn't gonna allow Dread Inferno to finish it off. Confound you, Healing Totem. Somewhat unusually, I'm not going to want to play the Dread Inferno with the Raging Worgen because there's a Stormforged Axe. I do want to play the Soulfire on the Dwarf, which means I looks like I will do... Where shall I strike? I'm low enough that I should play everything. That's fine. Using Soulfire to deal one damage, but this saves the Naga. If 
like he was really close. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. Shadow bolts a bit early. Does too much damage. It's a better late game card. Stormwind Knight. I wonder if this card is uh, better than I give it credit for. Uh, let's not get down. It probably is. What? Repentance that early? Reporting for duty. It's got the turn one, turn two combo there. All right. I guess I protect the 3 1 of my 2 1. That's worth it, since most uh, 3 drops are 3 health. Alright, gotta save the Flame MP yet again. Bailout. Making sure this Flame Imp gets value. To be fair, he also used one really bad card, which he probably was forced into picking. Four to break the divine shield is a pretty obvious play. Then this and this get it. I'll take out one of the two twos. Will I? So many possibilities. Do I want to throw a soul fire on anything? Yeah, on that one. This discards a dark scale healer. Better to save it then. To battle for the king for honor. Since the Stampeding Coda will one-shot the Imp Master anyways, I should probably actually trade down this guy also. Surprisingly large amount of cards, which I consider bad. Oh man, this acolyte of pain looks like it's set up to get massive value. For all um, hmm. We'll get two cards. To I'll get value out of the dark scale healer. Hmm. Wow. I think I want to hold Soulfire. These cards don't want to be discarded. Lovely. 
Oh crap, that would cause him to draw a humongous amount of cards. I think I need to kill both Acolyte of Pains. And if he enrages the Worgen, then so be it. Three daggers. <sighs> no, it's more important to kill the 3-3. Three, three. No daggers. It's okay if he draws an extra card. Oh crap, I completely miss... Planned. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. I could have thrown an extra knife juggler into there. At least that wasn't awful. That was a pretty complex situation. has to go before I throw anything else out there. Juggler... Mercenary. Tap, maybe. Put this apple on your head! Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Uh, worth it. This saves the 8-3. played really fast, which I'm reminded of because this guy's name is Slow Dan. Why can't you just relax, yeah? This is a really good hand. It's... it's pretty good. The novice engineer could be better. So could the raging organ. It's a harvest going there. Yeah, any hand with this deck that starts with flame up is really good. Flame of value. Drew a uh, coin and a spell. I wonder. Probably has cleave, which would mean this would be pretty good. On three. How's he only at two mana? So mana. First paired mana. The light protects me. I hope you like my invention. New Argent Squire. We must cleanse the sun well. So I can either get a 3 1 and a 2 3, which is 9 worth of stats, or I can get. 12 worth of stats. Minus 4. Try to do this. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Perfect situation for a Dread Inferno. Oh, if you're sure. Dread Inferno. Tends to math out so perfectly. Sometimes. They are bent to my command. This guy's getting crushed under the weight of aggression.
Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. GG, right back. Oh. While I'm away, perhaps you'd be so kind to... I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine! I love going second and having a bomber in hand. It's the best. I greet you. Whoops. Alright, bomber. You have a chance to... It's not that great a chance. Why don't just harvest golem, which is a guaranteed excellent trade. I am really tempted to trade and then play Bomber. That's a 70% chance that dies, which is fairly good. And that's a chance to play the Mad Bomber so at a fairly good opportunity. I think if I play the odds, this is the right play. Alright, Bomber, don't let me down. Did not let me down. Thank you, Bomber. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Bomber doesn't fail to disappoint. Wait, that was the wrong way to put it. For not a time. Bomber did not disappoint. Mind if I roll need? Attend me. Ready, sir. This position he set me up with is pretty good. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Juggler, hoarder, knight. Two, four, eight. Perfect. Get this guy off first since he doesn't want a knife to be stuck in it. Put this apple on your head. For the king! Alright, the opponent's got a value of 5 cards before he drew. I had a value of roughly 6. Consecrate doesn't change it much, fortunately. Though it looks devastating, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, one more Inferno. Finish the job. Do I want to protect my 1-1 one, one Inferno? No. I will enjoy watching you die. For the king! For honor. <laughs> Yikes. That's a pretty rough king's. Alright, 
Since that deals 7 damage, I don't want to put the Defender of Argus on the 2-5. Unless... I no, wonder. there's no reason. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. I mean, wait. I was right the first time. My shield for Argus. Because this is a three. three. Math works out well here. That this is a fairly even board. These three trade for these two, so I have two. He has three, and I will have three. This is a very close game. I mean, unless he's got tricks. Looks like he's got no tricks. Okay, well that's pretty good. That's pretty good. This game is heating up. Are you ready for this? Reporting for duty. Very nice. In case uh, he has something that requires stuff to be on the board, it seems best. What you looking at? Reporting for duty. <laughs> Aggressively trade since it looks like I win. Anyways. I should tap for more info since I only need to spend five mana. Yep. Ready, sir. Warlock power, really good light game. I'm assuming you didn't take too much damage. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Well played. Alright. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. Interestingly enough, the flame imp is not very good because it's a two mana three two, which costs this is three damage. They come on me. Um, do I mulligan flame up though? A two mana three two with a strict downside. Well, I could just tap on two, and then on turn three I can tap imp. I should keep it. Maybe I'll just play flame imp on two anyways. Someone called for it. Curves on both sides. The one drop was very rare, and it turned out to be uh, very strong against me in particular. Hmm, it's the weakest break in some time. What to do? What to do? I hope you like my invention. Protect the golem so by killing it with the rifleman. I also get to tap with it. It's a pretty good deal. Locked 
Damage gone turns out to do work then. Fine result. I should probably play Loot Hoarder and Defender of Argus. Gets it out of the uh, range. My shield for Argus! Your magic shall not save That's a very strong use of silence. But warlocks keep on tapping. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! To the brink! Five, six. Ten to him. Oh my gosh, not lethal. But pretty close. And since it's pretty close, I guess I'll go for it. I will tap first. If he's got flame strike, suppose he does. I actually should shadow bolt. No, I should soul fire. That's the plan. Phil guard survives the flame strike. This is the best play. I will enjoy watching you die. Destroy all your chances of winning. He is, as it turns out, setting up for flame strike. Um. <sighs> This is a tough decision. I think I Shadow Bolt trade. He dug for an answer and got it. I'll just play Blade Raging. This setup has a chance of killing him if he doesn't respond. And I'm a little afraid to tap. No, I shouldn't be that afraid. Maybe I shouldn't be that afraid. Ah, Stormwind Knight stacked on top of each other. No problem. You dare challenge the dog! Four, seven, eleven. Oh, lovely. Your turn to bleed. No! Well played. Win. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. Hmm. I considered keeping the Drake for a moment, but nah. This is a great hand. Expected that to be get down. Uh, it's redemption then. So many possible. Imp Master is the best play. Raging Worgen might look like the best play, but he trades and might play a 3 3. Mm. This gets more guys out. Not on my way. Hmm. 
Let the dark in. I'll let this thing redeem itself. Hoping he wouldn't trade and I would have turn four sea giant. What a shame. Raging Worgen looks like it would be very good here. Does the opponent have only two attack minions on the board? If so, Raging Worgen is a very good play. For duty. Oh sweet, Sea Giant works. Yeah! Go Sea Giant. Um, I'll take out two of them. That's fine. in my favor. So at the end of turn six, I'll be up three net worth. Ready, sir. As the game goes in the late game, my hero ability is unrivaled. It's Squire, been a common theme. Ready, sir. Reporting for duty. Hmm. Defender of Argus, attack, attack, opens up the 1-1 one, one to clean up. Shadow Bolt, attack, attack, cleans his stuff up. And then I can so Defender of Argus. Possibilities. This will leave my uh, guy out of Consecrate range. That's pretty good. <laughs> Could also just Knife Juggler tap. No, that's too vulnerable to my Consecrate. For Argus. Yeah, I should actually do it this way. If you insist. No, this way's fine. No, this way is better against Hammer of Wrath. But it's worse against True Silver. But he probably doesn't have True Silver. Or does he? Can't remember the plays. The method of attacking there is actually quite important. To Northrend! Argent Commander. That means the other method of attack would have been superior, but only by a little. Reporting for duty. Well, I get a mount. 258. Do I want to clear the 1-1 one, one first? Nah. Luck. It's 50 50. Uh, Three for one, pretty good. And damage. Reporting for duty. This catches them up. But you cannot stop the hordes of the warlock. I'll pop him out faster than you can kill him. Unless you happen to have that in your hand. Oh, okay. Apparently you mean business. Okay. Uh oh. I think I could lose this game. Reporting for duty. I 
was mistaken. The question is, is it I wonder. too greedy to not kill the 5-6 right now? It probably is. Now we're at the point where the Paladin Hero ability is actually better than mine, since I only have a few charges of it left. Oh, that's not good. I would have cleared my board. But I can see how this would be good. Oh crap, my guy didn't die. Um where shall I strike? Second consecrate a bit more. I will fight with Ooh, honor. Is that the same one? Soul shall be mine. I greet you. All right. Oh. From what I know, he has a really good deck. Mine's alright, but I'd say his is probably a higher quality deck. He skipped turn two. Is that because he expects me to play Raging Morgan? That's the only explanation. Pretty sick read. That enters the realm of too much paranoia. Let the pain speak to me. Oh, I need to play Sea Giant first. He doesn't have repentance in his deck. Right, he does not. That is bring a guy back. don't think I want the Acolyte of Pain to come back. It's too much value. Not on my watch. I should rig it so that Argent Protector dies. That's not too hard to do. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. The Money Berserker coming back would be pretty bad also. Ugh, so many secrets. What? Well. I mean, if Get Down gets back, that's good for me as well. For the king! For honor! Get down! Get down! It's okay. It's cool. <laughs> Maybe I should just face him. Yeah, okay. The uh, trades that are that favorable from. In which case, I shouldn't have played Murloc. Should have just tapped. Oh my gosh, it's free molten giant. Seems to me he needs to follow the rules, otherwise he loses. 
Let me think. Do you miscalculate? Not on my watch. So I need to remove that to win. It's possible if anything that deals one damage. Oh, that is sadly not good enough. Oh my gosh, did he plan this? Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Something that charges. I don't think I have anything left. Oh, the humanity. Wow. Well played. And this is the problem with going after the face. Why did I do this? I wouldn't have done it if it weren't for the bloodthirsty chat always telling me to go for the face. Ugh, it wasn't even my initial plan. We should uh, link this game whenever people tell me to go for the face.